The former vice president telling voters in Fort Madison today that their responsibility as voters bigger than it's ever been. Biden not only speaking to issues, but more broadly on the division that our country faces, which the next president will inevitably inherit. If you start questioning like how dirty politics has become, you're a bad guy, you're this, you're that, you get engaged in that, you can never get to a, co a compromise on anything. And the country cannot survive without consensus, consensus. Biden touting his White House experience when it comes to leadership and his belief that he is the candidate who can defeat President Trump in a general election. Uh, once uh, we beat Donald Trump and if we win back the Senate, who's most likely to be able to get significant things done? A serious health care proposal, making sure that we help the farmers in this community so that we don't get in another one of these god-awful, ridiculous circumstances the president put us in by putting farmers behind the eight ball. Across the Hawkeye State and the country, farmers are hurting in the midst of a trade war with China, something Biden says will not be the case if he takes the Oval Office. Under our administration, uh, agriculture had the best years they've ever, ever had under the Obama-Biden administration. And uh, they've taken a beating, and so is manufacturing. So who's, who's going to most likely to restore that? Dylan Austin, WGEM News, Fort Madison.